slow-mo, showboat, robo, wave ride Cool shawty, too naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old shit I'm on the Hey guys, Martha Mentor here, back with another video And this video is gonna be kind of a play off the last video um, This is not a video I had scheduled This is not even something I had on my mind to make um, but I'm making it because I saw some comments, got some DMs, questions about the relay. And I'm not going to go over what the questions were, but they kind of centered around the same thing. And then I started to realize that a lot of people don't know that there's a whole nother lane that Amazon has for middle mile other than Amazon Relay. And actually, that lane holds more precedence than Relay. So I realized that. So I said, you know what? Let me just make a video and maybe this will give better clarification on to why things are the way they are. And hopefully this video does that. So I'm going to get into that now. All right. So for those of you that don't know, Amazon operates two lanes, right? Middle mile, final mile, all right? So, middle mile, they got two platforms. They got Amazon Freight Partner, which you see here, for those, of that you don't, for those of you that don't know, they have another platform other than Relay, and that's Amazon Freight Partner. And then they got Amazon Relay, all right? On the final mile side, they got Delivery Service Partner, DSP. And then they have Amazon Flex, all right, so it's kind of mirrored the same, just two different lanes, right? So let's start with middle mile. Amazon Freight Partner and DSP are like the same. So Amazon Freight Partner, Amazon has a vested interest. They have a vested interest in the Amazon Freight Partner platform. And let's talk about it, all right? So build your own company fueled by Amazon. They say something similar on the relay side, but it's really not the same thing. Low startup costs. Start your business with costs as low as 40000 and zero up front for state-of-the-art Amazon branded trucks. Asterisk. Estimate based on first five day caps to get started. Actual costs will vary. So let's talk about that. Similar to the DSP program. The AFP program, the Amazon Freight Partner, 40K up front, 40,000 down. After you go through the vetting process, they're going to look at your credit and all that stuff. If they accept you in this program, you put the $40,000 down. Amazon is going to provide you with five day caps, Amazon branded day caps. Keyword here, five day caps. Now, for all of you that guys that are no trucking lingo or know the difference between a day cab and a sleeper, obviously a day cab doesn't have the sleeper. So that tells you what? That these guys are local and they're home every day. All right, let's go over here. Long-term growth. Build a strong, diverse team and grow your business alongside Amazon. All right, success story. We're going to skip that. Let's go over the opportunities. Let's get to the meat of this. All right, startup cost 40 grand. We went over that. Annual revenue potential, 1.5 to 3.5 million. Annual profit potential, 100 to 300K. Remember, I always talk about this. I talked about this in the last video. Margins and trucking are very, 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 very small. This is about 10%. But keyword they say is very. I read stories about Amazon. I read a story about a guy who's a DSP who's grossing 3.54 million, and he's taking home less than 90 grand. The average margin in trucking is two and a half to six percent. All right, they're estimating you at ten, but even at ten, you make three point five million dollars to only take home three hundred thousand. That's ten percent, so that's still low, but it's probably going to be lower than that. Let's move forward. What you'll get if you get accepted into this freight partner program: new state-of-the-art lower emission trucks without an upfront down payment. All right, the forty thousand gets you in the platform, gets you in the system. Obviously, forty thousand is going to get you five day caps, but it's going to get you all of this. It's going to get you the five day caps, right? <clears throat> that are branded with Amazon. 
all right? Stable, long-term, long-term keyword, revenue potential with the opportunity to grow your business. Exclusive offers on services such as truck insurance, employee health care, and human resource assistance, all right? So we know that Amazon owns insurance companies. They've been buying up a lot of stuff. That's one lane they're in. We also know that they bought into health care. This is how they're able to provide these perks to the contractors or the partners that get into this program so they can pass this stuff along to the people they hire as their W-2 employees. They understand that in order for this to work, they have to buy into these different industries so that they can own it, so that when they charge you for it, they can charge it to you at a discounted price so that you can make some type of profit, all right? Amazon is smart, and give them that. The best training in the industry from Amazon experts and a dedicated business coach to support you as you launch and grow your business. So they're going to, like any business that you get into, I know this is not like a franchise, but they're still going to coach you and train you. Your success is their success. Remember, this platform, they have a vested in interest in this. They have a vested interest in this platform. They don't have vested interest on the relay side. Not saying it's bad, but I'm giving you the real. Let me let me follow me now. World class safety and transportation technology. Listen, fuel, tolls, and ongoing maintenance paid for by Amazon. Key. Key. Fuel, tolls, and ongoing maintenance paid for by Amazon. They're covering your fuel. They cover it on the DSP side. Tolls, they're covering it. All right. Ongoing maintenance paid for. Now, on the DSP side, those guys are saying Amazon is charging them. But let's talk about the barrier to entry. You got non-CDL drivers driving Sprinter vans and stuff over there. Over here, you got more professional drivers driving semi-trucks, a lot of highway, all right? So I don't know why Amazon is covering the maintenance on the freight side versus the DSP side, but they're covering the maintenance, all right? What you'll do. You'll recruit high-performing commercial drivers, pay them competitively, competitively as W-2 employees, and provide health care benefits and PTO. All right. So you're hiring drivers. You're paying them uh, W-2. So they're getting paid on the clock by the hour. Uh, you're providing health care. Obviously, that's coming out of your, your, your gross, right? But Amazon owns health care companies. They bought them for billions of dollars, all right? Do your research. So they can provide you that at a discount so that you can provide those uh, services and perks to your employees at a discount rate so you can still profit, all right, um, and PTO. Uh, train and lead and motivate your team to achieve high performance and safety standards. Obtain insurance for your fleet and comply with all federal, state, and local laws. Obviously, we know that Amazon will provide you insurance. You can go with their insurance or you can go with your own, all right? Go with their insurance, you're going to get it at a discount, obviously, because they own it, all right? Create a safety-focused fo culture for drivers leveraging Amazon's suite of safety training and technology tools. All right, so um, let's talk about that um, real quick. Let's do a compare and contrast. So like I said, you got AFPs, which are Amazon freight partners, and then you got your low board, your relay low board. And that's middle mile. Final mile, you got DSPs, which are delivery service partners, and then you have Amazon Flex. So with the AFPs, the Amazon Freight Partners, Amazon has vested interest. They're vesting into it. They're providing you the day cabs, right? They're providing the toll. They're providing the maintenance. They're providing the fuel. Versus on the relay side, they're not providing you anything. Compare that to the final mile lane. DSPs, delivery service partners. Now, see how they put partner at the end of DSP? DSP, delivery service partner, partner, AFP, Amazon freight partner, final mile, DSP, delivery service partner, all right, versus Amazon Flex. Okay, this is how it works. Middle mile. Because Amazon has vested interest in AFPs, they have precedence, all right? AFP side, 53 footers. There's no box trucks on that side, right? They're going to push the freight in 53 footers first, right? They have vested interests. These guys are working, mostly dropping hooks. 
Amazon owns the facilities. Amazon ha owns the day cabs that they're leasing to the AFPs, right? Amazon owns the trailers. Pick up a trailer. You start your day. You pick up a trailer wherever you start at. You take it to another Amazon facility, obviously within a certain range because they're day cabs. So they're not going across country. This is all local. They have a network. You drop that off. There's no live loads. They drop off a full trailer. The people in the warehouse unload it during the day or at night or however it is. They pick up an empty or they might pick up another full trailer, but they're not doing live loads and, and live unloads. They're just doing dropping hooks. All right. Amazon has vested interest. So the work is going to go to the AFP program first. What Amazon Relay get are the overages. It's spot market work. Load board. All right. They're getting the overages. Same concept on the final mile side. DSP. You got a you're a DSP contractor. You bought in. It's a little bit cheaper entry on the DSP side. You got to come up with 10,000 and they're providing you the 20 vans and you lease the vans. They take all that out your overhead. When you go to those source stations, wherever they pick up the DSP vans, uh, fulfillment centers, store, source stations, whatever. And they route all that stuff to however many vans a sort station gets for whatever area, whatever coverage area. Once each van maxes out the amount of deliveries, whatever they consider the max, and all the vans are at that max, right? All the overages get flexed out. That's when you see those guys pulling up to the fulfillment centers and the sort stations in their personal vehicles. They go on the Amazon Flex app. They see what's available. They pick it. They go there, and they pick the stuff up, and they deliver it in their personal vehicles. That's Amazon Flex on the Amazon Flex app. Those are the overages that couldn't get routed into the DSP vans. Relay is the same thing with Middle Mile. It's overages. You don't believe me? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Short term. Now remember, Amazon Freight Partners is long term. All right? It says it right here. It says it right here. Long term. Long term. Long term. All right? Short term. Carriers of all sizes can take full or take advantage of short term contracts with Amazon. These contracts help fill the gaps between spot work and long-term contracts. Fill the gaps between spot work and long-term contracts. Fill the gaps. Contracts can be chosen through relay from weeks to months in the future. Each contract includes an entire week of work over each week of the contract. Payout is guaranteed as long as there is no cancellation or rejection. Even if Amazon doesn't use the contracted capacity, drivers are still paid 100% of the contract's value. All right, so Amazon Relay is short term. You go to the Amazon Relay app. Short term contracts secure full work weeks for your drivers and grow your fleet by locking in guaranteed revenue for provided trucks with single or multi week contracts several weeks in advance. And even on the Amazon Relay website, they refer you to Amazon Freight Partner Program for long-term consistent. Listen to the words here. Consistent work. Consistent. It's a difference, all right? So when you, when you look at the two, you got to kind of just understand what's going on. And this is why... You know, they're freight, and then it's slow, it's busy, slow, or this got uh, canceled, right? The precedents, they're going to push Amazon Freight first. They're going to fill up those 53 footers for their partners first because they have vested interest in that program. Consistent work. Let's take a look here. Here's something I want to show you, too, on the higher east side or the employee side. Opportunities with Amazon Freight Partner enable CDL eight truck drivers to be home daily, work a consistent, work a consistent weekly schedule, haul, drop, and hook, drop and hook. Like I said, 
Earn hourly pay, pay time off, and health care benefits. Drive new state-of-the-art lower emission tractors with advanced safety features. Then you can search an Amazon Freight Partner here. So Amazon Freight Partners have access to um, the hiring. They give them, I guess, access to a hiring board to hire CDL drivers. All right. They're going to push the freight out on the 53-footers for their partners first. And then the overages will get pushed to the relay board. Spot market work. It is what it is. So when you understand the system, you'll understand uh, why things are the way they are. They're going to give the work to the people who have vested interest, who they have vested interest into before they give it to a full-blown 100% contractor. Same thing on the final mile side. The DSPs get all the work first. If all the work can fit in DSP vans and there's no overages, that means there's going to be no flex. I know people that do Amazon flex. They say they'll see a load, they'll get it, they'll get all the way there, and then it'll be canceled. Why? Because they were able to shove it on a van. Same thing with the relay board. If they can put it on a 53-footer, for a, a partner that's going there, they'd rather do that than send a 26-footer. They have 53-footers on the, on, the, on the relay side, too. But like I said, it's spot market work, mostly overages. So I hope that kind of explains why things are the way they are. If you got semi-trucks, right, if you got semi-trucks, and I know there's somebody that I responded to, and in the comment on the last video, and I broke, I kind of introduced the AFP program. He said, "Oh, that's interest. Um, that's interesting. I got two semi trucks. You know what I'm saying? So that let me further let me know that a lot of people aren't aware of this. All right. So if you got semi trucks, your better bet is probably on the AFP side because you're gonna have guaranteed work because those works are dedicated. They're dedicated routes." The volume is going to determine what gets pushed out or gets flexed out, so to speak, to the spot market, to the low boards. And then that kind of furthers into what I talk about all the time. Don't put all your eggs into one basket. And I'm not saying this could happen, but let's 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 think about it. Amazon is steady building their AFP program, just like they're steady building their DSP program. Right. If it gets to a point where they can do everything in the house. I don't see why they wouldn't X a certain lane. I don't see it happening. You know what I'm saying? But let's let's think about it. If the AFP program gets to a point where they can 100 percent push all their freight, they have a big enough infrastructure that all their partners can push that freight out and get it middle mile from dock to dock. They, they don't have a need for a spot market. But I don't see that happening. But let's let's let me talk about one more thing. I should have had it opened up. On the AFP side, Amazon also has a, a a business model where they're running freight for other companies. So if I if I manufacture, let's say these microphones, and I don't I I need loads picked of these microphones up i can go to amazon right their website it's another website i should have had it pulled up and i can request a truck to come pick up 53 footer worth of these microphones and take them from one place to the next. and on that website i can put uh, the pickup the drop off it'll give me an estimate and it'll tell me when a truck will pick this freight up from my facility and drop it off where i need to go So, you know, long story short, Amazon Freight Partners, the AFP platform is is the priority. Right. And then the overages, the spot market work gets pushed to relay. I'm not saying relay is not good, but I, didn't, I don't think a lot of people understood that there was another lane. And hopefully this kind of explains why the volume fluctuates. If 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 the partners, if the volume can satisfy the the partners, if they have enough partner vehicles 
on any given day to satisfy whatever the volume is that day, then that's going to lower the volume for the relay. Same thing with the DSP. If the volume can satisfy or if the DSP uh, uh, um, partners can satisfy whatever the volume is that day, then that's going to lessen the work for the flex. All right. So, I mean, hopefully you guys understand now. Uh, www.boxtruckcourses.com for your mentorship with me. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the upcoming videos. And I'm out. Go mo, show mo, show bo, robo, wave ride. Cool shorty, two naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old shit.